Hello, I'm Bob McLeod. I work with a nonprofit ministry in Northeast Alabama known as Our Father's Arms, homes of healing and hope for individuals and families in crisis. Since 2007, Millie Haygood has been our resident director for our women, children, and displaced families home. What this dear lady has survived and overcome in her life is certain to inspire you. This is Mother Millie's story. And I said a prayer and I asked God to please just send me somebody to love and that would love me unconditionally. And it was a very short time after that that I got pregnant. And, uh, and were you married? I wasn't. Um, I was, but we were not together, so I was with an, yet another abuser. <laughs> um, and at that time, I had always been told I could never get pregnant or have children because I would die. I had physical problems, probably due to some of the abuse I had went through. And so I was fearful and um, never knew that that love I was asking for would be a child. But um, we made it. We both almost died at, at birth, but we made it. And uh, he and I were alone for a very long time. <laughs> till he was about nine. Um, and still, I didn't have that relationship that I really needed and got later with a father. It's real difficult, and, and the ladies that I work with now, I tell them and understand, our home life and the way that we view father cr can create such, such a hard time in understanding a relationship with a true father that could love us, accept us, um, be there for us. When, again, that thinking, we hear that word and we automatically think of our father, our earthly father, and what that was. Um, for me, it was null and void. <laughs>